What's up, YouTube? I'm Looney. Hey. There goes in. <laughs> Alright, so we are basically letting you... I don't even know if it's an update, but basically letting y'all know what's going on with us. Um, I have something to talk to y'all about. And I hope that um y'all are nice enough to give me positive feedback or just real feedback that's fine but any negative feedback will be done be dealt with accordingly and i'm not playing plain and simple so here's the thing i'm not sure if i'm pregnant all my home pregnancy tests say negative i went to the doctor and if y'all see me looking down um i'm looking in notes from the past basically um like I said, I went to the doctor and they drove my blood twice. And these were two different doctors and neither one called me back. Um, I actually wound up calling the doctor today and he said that everything looked normal except something was wrong with my liver count. It was actually up by three, which is weird because I don't drink. So, I don't know. And then, um... I have been experiencing some symptoms and I'm not one to sit up there and have symptoms and then go back on the computer and then look at them and all the rest of this other stuff or look for symptoms I don't do that but I have written down some symptoms that I have been going through and I want you all to tell me whether these sound like pregnancy symptoms or not okay all right so, first symptom was ballooned breast. Um, y'all see that? Can y'all see that? See? They don't hurt, but they've gotten really big. Right there? <laughs> slight nausea. And... When I say slight nausea, like I'll be walking and or I'll smell something and then it's just instantly, oof. What was that? You know? <laughs> it wasn't like can y'all see me behind my glasses? Can you see me? Yes, I can okay. see you. So I'm like, oof, basically. What is that? And then I'll be like, mm, but nothing too serious. Um, irregular periods. Okay, there's a little story behind that. I am currently having spotting. My periods have been irregular since the artificial insemination. And I got inseminated July 9th, same birthday. Y'all probably saw that video somewhere on our channel. Um, ever since June 26th of this year, I haven't had a full period. My period didn't even come down when it was supposed to. Um... My period was actually due on July 22nd, and it did not come when it was supposed to. It came like two days late, and then um, it came down orange. Orange. Orange, yeah, orange. So, I was sitting up there, and I'm like, that's weird. That's really weird, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what the hell? Basically. So, um, along with that, I have gained weight. Not like, oh, I gained weight. I've gained weight. Like, <laughs> 30 fucking pounds. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Like, 30 pounds in, what is that? Like, what is it? So it's July, August, September. It's November. Right now. Okay, I've gained almost 30 pounds in the past couple of months from July. That's a lot of weight. My eating pattern has not changed since the insemination, so I don't know what the hell my pattern, my eating pattern was the same from before, and it's the same now, but all of a sudden, I'm getting this. You see that? I don't. You show the people you're jerking me. Okay, I'm done. What? Okay, 
no shame in my game. I know I'm fat. But it's when other motherfuckers call me fat, we got a problem. So, um, I have flutters. Flutters in my lower abdomen. Like, down there, almost. But, like, right under the belly button. And, um, it's hard. Um, it's semi-hard down there. I have a pudge. I don't care. I have a pudge. So, um, it's mostly hard at the top. And I don't know why, because my stomach never did that. Uh, I had a hernia repair back in February. And, um, after that, my stomach was soft all the way up until insemination time. So, um, my belly button is actually starting to shallow out. I have had a deep belly button my whole life. My belly button, <laughs> let me show y'all, would reach to about right here. I could stick my belly button. That, that was it. Now, I can stick about this much in my belly button, and I'm there. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, if I am possibly burgers, y'all, I would be about, let's say, 20 weeks today. So, I don't know. I've been experiencing two days some issues with my sides cramping up and things of that sort. Like, I've been experiencing cramping, but like I said, my period does not come regularly. It, if it comes, because my period will come like three days now and it will be mostly spotting and then go up. Okay. So I don't know what the hell's going on with that. And because I've had negative urine tests, some doctors are just like, Oh well, you're not pregnant. Well guess what? I know a girl that actually had a negative blood and urine test and she was pregnant. Far pregnant too. So I don't want to hear that shit. Anyway, excuse her language. Sorry, I'm going to keep it real on this train. So, um, <laughs> here are the pregnancy tests we tried. Now, there are regular pregnancy tests, and then I'll kind of a couple that we just heard about today and we went and tried, okay? Alright, so the first thing, I'm looking at my notes. The first thing was, um, the urine that came back negative. Um, I took a blood test at the doctor's. Like I said, no one called me back. Now, the whole bleach situation. Mm. Okay, I found out earlier today on YouTube that people have been making homemade pregnancy tests. In case y'all didn't hear me. Homemade pregnancy tests. Okay. They're using bleach and urine. Okay, I was curious. So I was like, okay, well, maybe, maybe it'll work. Because... Um, there was this girl on YouTube, and she indeed was pregnant, and she bought 10 pregnancy tests after taking the bleach test, and they were all positive. So, I was like, well, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, I don't know, because I know ammonia, ammonia, which is in urine, and bleach tends to do what it's going to do. So, anyway, not to ramble on, uh, basically, if the bleach fizzes like a soft drink or a beer then you're pregnant if it does nothing you're not pregnant so I use my first morning urine instead of going by a test I know what y'all gonna say but the stores were closed I was up so took the test and it fizzled like a cold drink rapidly I did it twice and um both times it did it. And then there's the other test with pine saw. Okay, the test with the pine saw, I don't know too much about. They say usually if you have a cup of your urine, just a cup of your urine, and you pour the pine saw into it, it's supposed to change colors. Well, I don't think that I bought the right pine saw. <laughs> I, had the, I had the lemon pine saw, so I think it would just turn a yellow, right? <laughs> I have a blonde moment. <laughs> so, um, okay, uh, what else, you guys? The symptoms I'm currently having, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, insomnia. 
As a matter of fact, last night, I'm sorry, this morning, I went to sleep for 10 o'clock. And I woke up for 3, 3 o'clock. That's what's been happening. I don't know. <laughs> I've just been going to sleep like that. Okay, I've been extremely short-tempered. My poor husband could probably tell all that. I've been really bitchy. Bit bitchy. There, said it. Um, Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I've been having flutters, and I don't know what the hell this means, but y'all, my puppy keeps biting me. She never bit me before, but now. She bites me whenever the hell she feels like it. I don't know. And she's not aggressive. I don't know. Um. Uh, also, let's see. <laughs> she keep biting me. I don't care. So, um, <laughs> there's also milky white discharge, y'all. And I'm just going to get plum ignorant right now because oh, there are God, some people. No. Yes. There are some people that don't know how basically to talk professionally or to talk basically PG about the situation, even though it's discharge, yes, it's whatever. So anyway, I'm getting milk, milky white discharge, like a lot of it, like so much TMI alert, so much to the point that I would have to change my underwear. I've never had to wear panty liners before, and now I'm having to purchase panty liners because so much of it is getting into my panties and I'm not too happy about that. Um it's not that slimy uh wet feeling that you get when you're aroused or you horny. It's not like that. It's the wet, dry, dry wet discharge if it makes any sense. Uh most girls can relate when they're about to start their period and they go to wipe, you know, and there's that slimy feeling up against the tissue right before you look at it, you know, are you throw it in the toilet. I'm not having that. I'm having straight up wet, white, feels like tissue's there, feels like nothing's going on, but it's there. And my husband can vouch for that. It's a lot of it. A lot. So, you guys tell me what you think. I don't know, um, basically, how to think, how to feel. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment scheduled for Thursday. And I guess I'll give you all another update of what happened. Because I'm hoping he's not just a jerk. And he's just going to be like, oh, well, if this isn't saying this, then this isn't happening. And I just want to let y'all know. If I wind up, or I didn't know I was pregnant, I'm getting every one of y'all a shout out because of the fact that these doctors are not taking it seriously. Plain and simple. And I'm suing. Plain and simple. I'm suing. I'm going to be the lawyer. I'm going to be the lawyer. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, if there are any good comments or any good advice that you all want to give me, Please put it at the bottom down there. Um, down there. Y'all see it? Boom. Mm -hmm. Put it down there. Uh, I'm going to do a belly shot to show y'all how exactly my stomach is looking at this moment. I don't want no negative comments. Plain and simple. If I hear a negative comment, I'm coming on your page. Plain and simple and I'm going to let you have it. Okay? So. No going ham on somebody else's page. You stay out of it. They saw the woman first. Ah. So, I'm about to do the belly shot, okay, you guys? Belly shot. Alright. Alright. Belly shot. Alright, so, Ooh. this is what I look like in the front. With the shirt, <laughs> with the shirt on. With the shirt on. This is basically. Yeah, we This go. is what happens if I turn to the side. Mm. Okay. This is how hard it is up here, you guys. Like, yeah, I can't really. Okay, hold on. Let me pull up my skin a little bit. Okay, there <laughs> it is. Can you see that? 
They like elect whatever. Yeah. At the bottom, it's hard here. I can't even push hard because it is really it is not comfortable. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah, um